Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove line breaks or hard returns from your Microsoft Word documents. All right, here's the problem. I'm sure you've seen this happen at least once or twice. Someone sends you a file or an email with a document, okay? But they hit enter at the end of each line while they were typing it, or somehow it got converted that way. I know that sometimes when I send emails out through a uh, different piece of software that I use, that software does this automatically. So I email it to someone and it ends up coming in like this in their inbox. You want to take this information, copy and paste it over to Microsoft Word and edit it like a nice pretty document, you got a problem. Because as we know, if we've taken my Word courses, you don't press enter at the end of each line. You let Microsoft Word do the word wrap for you where it brings the text around to the next line automatically. So how do we fix this when we get this sent to us from someone else? Well, let's take a look. Okay, here's problem number one. We're going to take a look at two different examples. One, if someone sends you a text file, like if you open it up a notepad and you got this, right? They hit enter at the end of each line. Okay, and then we'll take a look at an email in just a minute because they both handle slightly differently. So let's copy this text and put it inside Microsoft Word. Control A, select all text. Control C, copy. Then we'll open up Word. Go to a blank new document and Control V to paste. All right, there's my text. And as you can see, it's cut off each line. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the paragraph markings. This guy right there, right? Show hide the paragraph markers. And you'll see this one has a hard return at the end of each line. Okay? So we have to get rid of those. And the easiest way to do this is with a find and replace. Microsoft Word treats these characters as actual characters that we can find and replace in our text. So up here in the editing section on the home tab of the ribbon, right? We're going to find replace. And if you look, it says control H. Remember that if you use this a lot, right? That's the keyboard shortcut, control H. That'll bring up the find and replace dialog box. Now I want to find all these paragraph marks. So go to more, come down here to special. These are all the special characters. And at the very top, there's paragraph mark. Don't pick paragraph character. That's different. That's the actual character of the paragraph symbol in your document. You don't want that one. Okay, you want paragraph mark. Now, Word puts caret P in there. That's the shortcut code for a paragraph mark. And I want to replace those paragraph marks with nothing. All right, just bring the next line up. All right, so hit replace all. And we made 34 replacements. Okay, let's move this over here. Um, okay, it looks okay so far, but it got rid of the actual paragraph marks that I want. All right, let's undo that. Control Z. Put it back the way it was right here. I want to keep that one, right? So anywhere I find two of them next to each other, we have to replace that with something else first. Okay, this is the trick. Okay. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go carrot P and then carrot P again, wherever you find two of those guys next to each other, replace it with, I don't know, something else, some kind of placeholder. I'll just put in here like parentheses XXX like that. Something that won't appear anywhere else in your document. All right, use curly braces or I don't know, whatever. Okay, so now hit replace all. All right, made three replacements. That's fine. Each place there should be a paragraph break. There's that little XXX thingy. Okay, now we can get rid of the regular paragraph marks. So now go back to just a single paragraph marker and replace that with nothing. Okay, hit replace all. There we go, 28 replacements. All right, and now let's put the actual paragraph marks that we want back in. So put the XXX code that you made in there and then go caret P here and then replace all. And there you go. There's your document with the stupid tags removed. Okay, and you might have some instances like I can see right here. You might have to put a couple spaces in randomly. All right, clean it up. Or oh, that could be an error in the original document. Let me see. Yeah, sometimes what happens is when the documents come in like this, sometimes they'll leave the little space after the line. Sometimes, like this line here, it didn't. All right, so you might have to do a little manual editing. Okay, so let's clear this up. I'm just going to delete this text. Control A, delete. All right, let's go take a look at the second thing that happens. 
Okay, so here I am in my Gmail inbox. Someone did the same thing. They just copied and pasted the text and sent it to me in an email. So I'm going to select all this text in here. All right, right down to about there. Copy, Control C. Come back up here to Word, paste it in, Control V. All right, now, in this case, it came in a little differently. Okay? Instead of paragraph marks, Gmail formats this with line breaks. It's the same thing as if you were to hit Shift Enter on your keyboard, those things right there, right? Line breaks. Okay? Now, you could go through a whole different set of replacing these line break characters, the paragraph marks and spaces and all that. But the key here is when you paste in the text from Gmail or any other application, you want to make sure that you paste it in as plain text. Okay? Now, I've already moved off of that, but watch this. Let me undo. All right, let me paste it again. All right, as soon as you hit paste, down here you get this little box, right? The paste options. Drop that down and pick that guy. All right, you got some different paste options here. Keep the source formatting. In other words, keep the way that Gmail formatted it. All right, merge formatting now or this one. Keep text only. You only want the text because now... It brings it in just like normal text, and we can use the same steps I just showed you a minute ago. The alternative is you could take it from Gmail, copy and paste it into Notepad, and then copy and paste it from Notepad into Word, and then Word will have it as plain text. Bottom line is, either way, now it works the same as I showed you before. And while you're at it, while you're at it, do a replace for people who put two spaces after a period with just one space. All right? There's people from, like, learned typing back in, like, 1980. Okay, they still do that. I'll be honest, I still do it sometimes, too. So, okay. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore, people. Now we've got fonts that are, you know, sized automatically, and there's a little bit of extra space in the period fonts now. Well, not all of them. I found some that don't do that, but most do. All right, so there's your Microsoft Word Fast tip for today. If you want to learn more about Find and Replace... I cover it in my Microsoft Word Level 2 class. It's only a dollar, folks. It's one dollar. It's an hour long. All right, Level 1 is free. It's on my website. 76 minutes long. Teaches you all the basics. It's free. Level 2 is another hour plus. And I'm currently in the process of re-recording all of my Word classes. It's currently uh, 2022. And these ones are a little older. But you know what? All the stuff I show in these 2007 lessons, 2010, they're all the same. Nothing's really changed. There's some advanced stuff they've added. But Word really has not changed that much since 2007. So stop by my website, check them out. I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time. If you'd like to see me release more Microsoft Word videos, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment below saying you'd like more Word videos. Right now, about 90% of the videos that I make are for Microsoft Access Database Design. But I love Word, and I'm totally willing to make more Word videos, but I need to hear from you. The more people that comment, the more Word videos I'll make. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Word, come to my website at wordlearningzone.com, and you can watch my full Microsoft Word Beginner Level 1 class absolutely free. It's over an hour long, and it covers all the basics. And if you like Level 1, you can get level two, which is another full hour-long course for just $1. Again, visit my website at wordlearningzone.com. Or you can click on the links down below the video.